So here is yet another example of why if you're a relationship guy, your girlfriend and certainly your wife should not have male friends that they hang out with or even talk to, as it's fair that you don't hang out with other women. Title, my wife, a 34-year-old female, loves her best friend, a 38-year-old male, and wants him to join our relationship. I am 31. Now, this is about a guy who's married, doesn't sound like too long, and his wife has a male best friend. Big problem. And she mentions to her husband that she wants to basically open up the marriage and have, bring him in to pleasure in ways that her husband is obviously not fulfilling. And this guy, as you can imagine, is just blindsided and shocked by this. Not that any of us are nowadays. And he's wondering what to do. Now, instantly he took off, as you're going to see. But now she's been bombarding him with phone calls and messages. But he's just so shocked by this whole thing. He's like, what the hell do I do here? Says here, a long-time reader, first-time poster on Reddit. I'm not sure what to do. As the title says, my wife wants to add her best friend to our relationship. And that means the relationship is over. No ifs, ands, or buts. And if she ain't cheating already, I guarantee you she will be soon enough. I'm 31 years old. My wife is 34. Her best friend is a 38-year-old male. Smack. That's one smack for marrying an older woman. And the other smack, well, he'll get another smack, is for allowing your wife to have a best friend that's a man. You are the number one man in her life. That is it. No, There's no room for any other men. No best friends, none of that bullshit. Only leads to trouble. We just moved to her home state, which I do not know very many people. Wife had introduced me to her family and friends that she grew up with. Most of them are amazing. But when she introduced me to her best friend, I noticed a connection between them. Ah, imagine that. They never dated in the past, but you could tell there was more than just friendly feelings. Well, they may have not dated, but they may they very likely fooled around. We all hung out with each other and drank on a few occasions and all got along. Just uh, just uh, not so friendly looks between them every time we did. Uh, a few months go by and my wife started to get secretive with her phone. It's always about the phone. Closes out Snapchat when I come near her and changed her lock code. He says, no, I did not try snooping. My phone was dead and was using hers to call a friend of mine. Enough of the backstory. Well, last night she asked me if I was okay if she was shared. Really? He comes home from work. How was your day? Great. Oh, by the way, I want to talk to you. Do you mind if I, if I, you share me? Confused by the question, I asked, what did you, what did you say? She repeated herself while kissing on me. We've never done anything like that in our eight years of being together. I told her I would have to think about it. Smack. Dude, really? Think about it? There's a reason why she's pulling this shit because obviously her perception of you is that you're weak. And by you just saying I have to think about it, tells me a lot I need to know. No, bro. Self-respect. I asked her if I were to share her, did she have someone in mind? She then told me that D, her best friend, I got jealous and angry. I started to bombard her with questions when she got quiet and didn't answer them. Well, the reason she didn't answer the questions is because you obviously hit the nail on the head with your questions. Most of them being if she wanted to be with him instead of me. Or did you want a three-something or a whole relationship? She didn't answer. Which led me to believe she wanted more than just a hookup. That was the last night. I left the house and turned off my phone. Good for him. He at least they handled that part right. I drove around for three hours and eventually passed out in the car at a rest stop just out of town. Once I turned my phone back on, I had 32 missed calls and over 100 messages and Facebook Messenger messages. Well, she's panicking. I haven't been home yet due to working today. I just don't know what to do. What should I do? Leave my wife or let my best friend in our relationship? Smack! And he meant not best friend, her best friend. Dude, it's over. I'm sorry that you're going through this. I'm sorry you're going through the pain. She obviously doesn't love you because if she did, she wouldn't want anybody else touching her but you. And certainly in this open relationship situation, you with another woman. Although she didn't mention that part. The, clearly... Something's been going on with this guy for a while, going back way before he probably even knew her, you know? They probably never dated, but he was just somebody that she fooled around with and all that. In fact, probably what the case was, he was not the relationship type, but she was always attracted him to fool around with. Married this guy, no doubt, because he was the relationship guy, the, the guy you settled with. Meanwhile, then she, once she knew she had him roped in by the, the legalities of marriage and all that and had his heart uh, in her iron fist... Then she can go fool around with Chatter Tyrone. That's what's going on here. 
No, end it with her. Have some self-respect. It is over. He said he'd been with her for eight years. Now, I'm guessing not married for eight years, but maybe married half of that. Okay, hopefully not too much time in and uh, the divorce won't be too difficult in terms of separation of assets and alimony, that bullshit. Hopefully not, but I guarantee you she's already cheating. And she's hooked up with this guy in the past. But this goes to show, guys, never tolerate this open relationship, open marriage bullshit. It's over the second they bring it up. And two, as I said in the beginning, no male best friends for your girl, okay? If she doesn't like that in the beginning of the relationship when you're laying out some terms and deal breakers, okay. You don't have to get in a relationship. you know. And if a guy does that and says no male best friends you hang out with, I, ex- I, I expect that the guy will also not be hanging out with other women. Fair is fair. There, it's just, yeah, it's just not going to work. Men and women can't be friends, it's, uh, even if unless she's like some five hundred pound hippo that there's no way he wants to touch. But the odds are that she likes him, so it's just not going to work. You, uh, you get married, you're you're committed to a woman, or vice versa. You're the number one in her life, and to start, you come before her father. So I wish this guy the best.